This is Dominic Singh at the World of Bugger Fly Shop, continuing with our video fly tying series. Today I'm going to show you a worm pattern. Uh, this is my variation on the San Juan. It's called the San Juan Power Worm. So uh, during the high water events here on the river, uh, worm fishing can be the ticket sometimes. So uh, when tying these flies, a lot of people just use traditional lawn worm. Uh, this just takes it a little step further. And I'm also going to show you how to work with ultra chenille uh, to tie it down the very best way. So uh, this, this worm pattern uses two colors. Uh, you can tie it in any color variation or size you like. So let's get to tying. All right, to start off, I'm using a size 12 scud hook and a 1 8 brass bead. And thread I'm using is an 8 aught uni thread in red. I'm gonna start by tying ahead of the bead here. Let's get it started, get a good thread base down. And I'm going to have the tan color coming out the front here, like that. So when working with this ultra chenille, it's best to light the lighter first and then just gently put that chenille into it so you don't get a big burnt end on one side. Just a really nice, nice natural taper. And now I'm going to measure out the distance that I want that worm body to extend. And at that point, I'm going to cut just a little bit further behind. And this is a trick that I don't see a lot of fly tires do, but uh, when tying with chenille, you know, to keep a nice slim body, you want to pick out a lot of the fibers so you're just tying down the cord. Now ultra chenille is the same, it's just you can't, you can't pull it out with your fingers usually. So what I do is I take a dull pair of scissors and just come in from the top side here, and just gently pick it all out and you expose the core. So now that that core is exposed, you can tie in a really, really strong connection to that ultra chenille and a really slim body on that hook. If that doesn't work for you too, what you can do is take the lighter again and burn the end. And then once you have that bulb at the end, once you pick that off, you have the core exposed as well. So now I have that front completely tied. I can tie it off here. Slide the bead forward. Attach the thread again. And bring that thread back to the bend, wherever you want to attach in that red body. And I'll do the same thing to expose that core here. I'll do the lighter technique this time. Like that. And I'll have that extend out about here. Trim it off, give it a nice natural taper there. and tie down that core. So now you can either finish the body off with thread there all the way up and build it up so that bead doesn't slide, or I'm taking some red spandex here. This adds a nice layer of protection as well. This stuff's really durable. Let's tie down, that down in line, follow the taper there. Gonna bring that spandex really close wraps all the way up, protect that thread, and build it up a bit at that bead. Just catch that. Once that's secure, ready to tie off. So that's the finished San Juan Power Worm. Really, really excellent fly whenever there's high water. And that's the best way to tie it that I've found. Most durable, slim body, and uh, you get a professional looking fly every time. All materials for this fly can be found at our shop, so order online or give us a call.